Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, we got the strongest card in the entire game. And after getting that card, I decided that I'd make a video on the strongest shining cards in the game. Um, the ones that I recommend people getting. Because, uh, yeah. Um, I don't deem every shining card necessarily worth having. Like, don't get me wrong, having shining cards is good, like Black Hat. Assassin Black Cat is a really good shining card. Um, the strongest individual armor card in the game right now, I believe. But um, it just doesn't it just doesn't compare to these four cards. Um, one one comparison that I used for it was saying it's like the Arceus of the Creation Trio. Um, if you guys know Pokemon, but yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, card rankings. Here we are. Headwear card. So starting off at number one, we've got Shining Nar Shining Knight Monarch. Um, this, as of right now, is the strongest card in the game. That doesn't have max lines. Hold on. This doesn't have max lines. This is, as of right now, the strongest card in the game, by far. No comparison. Nothing comes close to this. 22% um, damage to boss, 10% XC damage, 10% damage X. This card is absolutely broken. And the fact that it's a headwear card, where we, very, we don't really have that many good headwear cards makes it that much more broken because the stats that you lose to get to get this card are like little to none um if you're not like a big whale with a bunch of glory hearts you probably have like shadow knight lisa bloodwing earth and dragon guinness um ida i think those are the cards that most people are running like yeah um and if you i think most people by now should have their third headwear slot or at least very be very close to the third headwear slot if you if you at least spend enough to usually get to get this card, most people who spend enough to get this card should I think have this to have a slot by now. Um, those type of people they're probably running like um, the the big three of like Lisa, Shadow Knight, and Bloodwing probably or Ida I guess. But this card trumps all of those uh, like with the first line alone because damage to boss and damage X. Um, people already use Earth and Dragon over Bloodwing and main slot, and then Bloodwing and assist. That's why I used to do. And Earth and Dragon is only 5% um, damage to boss with low attack. So this card, this the, the 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 initial line alone is better than a huge increase already. And then just 20 or 2 percent damage to boss. Damage to boss being the lowest damage percent multiplier gives the highest damage increase per percent. So it's broken. XE damage is always welcome. And then damage X is just an, another added bonus. I'd be okay even without damage X. Um, anyways, moving on. The next best card in the game is Shining A-E-N-A-A-E-N-E-A-S. Yeah, I'm saying it like that. Uh, A-A-N-E-S. Yeah, I'll say it like that. Um, this is the next best card in the game. Um, yeah, you get this in Bingo Event, which I hate Bingo Event, but I think this card is very, very good. Um, this is like... So, if the... Knight Monarch was Arceus. This is like the Garatina of the Creation Trio right now. Um, just a great card overall. XQ damage and debuff damage. Um, I prefer XQ over high HP, so I really love this card off of the XQ alone. And then debuff is great as well, um, but my XQ is lower than my debuff, so I get more bonus at the XQ. Although I love debuff for having the permanent increase. So yeah, that's that. Um, so yeah, this is the second best card in the game. And then, moving on, the next best, this is a coin, f I'm actually going to show, uh, yeah, here we are, here we are, here we are, Shining Shadow Knight. The reason that I say Shining Shadow Knight is the third best over Shining, um, over set effects Shining Shadow Snee is because there's more equivalent, there's more options for Talisman cards than there are for Headwear cards. Um, so Shining Shadow Knight is probably the third, well, tie for the third best, I guess. You could say these are Dialga and Palkia, the creation trio. Um, tie for the third best card in the game, um, with, uh, Shining, um, Shadow Shnee, which is, uh, I have no idea where it is on the ranking right now. Alright, here we are. Shining Shadow Shnee, execute damage, damage to boss. Um, execute damage in these cards is actually very apparent, which I'm happy about, but also... Yeah, I think I'm happy about that, because from your armor cards with, like, you have uh, Assassin Black Cat and, um, 
Mio and stuff like that being used nowadays, like a lot of high HP is coming from your armor cards. So I think getting um, a good amount of XD damage from your Talisman and Headwear cards is actually pretty good. Um, I feel like it's a good way to, to keep it balanced, and that's my thoughts on it. Um, so yeah, uh, those are the four best cards in the game. These are like, if you were going to get any Shining cards, these are the four Shining cards I would get. Don't get me wrong, Shining Black Cat is a busted card. It is 100% the strongest armor card in the game. However, the you only gain 7% damage total from adding this card as a Shining. 7% damage total is great, but when you compare that to gaining 22% damage to boss and 10% um and 10% execute damage, one shine one sh um night monarch is like the equivalent of three shining black cats. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Because it doesn't have a coercion set effect or anything like that. It's just um, 7% damage, basically, is the biggest uh, increase. So, yeah. That's how... That's like the Arceus and Creation Trio, uh, as I call it. Or the Four Horsemen, as another name I call it, of Tales of the Wind. Like, the four must-have Shining cards, I would say, if you're someone who spends for Shining cards. You can skip all the rest of the Shining cards, and if I'm going to be honest with you guys, they are not needed. They will help, but they are not needed. I say that if you had the choice and you could only get a very few amount, I'd get these four. Um, I'm gonna end it here, I'll see you guys next one, and yeah, enjoy your day.